so I'm putting the new lithium battery in this EasyGo TXT. I've got the single big 36 volt battery, so to be able to put it in the tray, I'm having to cut the old tie downs out because it's too wide. It's how I've cut this one, it'll fit there, but it won't fit like that. So I'm having to cut those out. So this is the battery out of the package. I don't know even how you say it, but that's what it is. I'll put in a screenshot of what it looked like on Amazon because it was red and black on Amazon, not blue. But anyway, I mean, it seems all right. It came, it's got 39.9 volts and I think it 92%. It was at 100% when I got it. Um, the charger's on the way right now. I ordered a form lithium charger. It's an onboard charger. Um, I mean, the build quality of this battery is, I mean, it seems fine, I guess. It's got these nice rope handles. Um, I was wondering kind of what the top looked like. That's the seam of the top. I don't really know how it's fastened on, but it is. It feels pretty thick and robust, I guess. Um, I think it, I'll have to figure out what the weight is, but I think it was like 60 to 70 pounds. But really what matters is the performance and we'll test that. But I now have the tray just kind of quickly painted just so I could kill off whatever rust I had. Now I'm gonna set it in there. So I've had the battery in the golf cart for a few weeks now. I feel like I can give a pretty good initial review. So far, it has been really good for the price. I don't really see where a more expensive battery would be any better. It's very torquey. The speed is pretty much exactly as it was before with lead acid batteries. You might pick up a little bit more speed just because you lose so much weight, but it's not gonna turn your 14 mile an hour car into a 20 mile an hour car. You might pick up a mile an hour or two. Of course, you have to change your charger to a lithium charger, so keep that in mind. You cannot charge these with the original charger or else you're gonna have a fire on your hands. This does have a battery level meter on it. It is completely useless. As you can see, it kind of bounces around. Um, I don't know how accurate it is, but I mean, it, I haven't killed the battery yet, so I don't really know really how off it is, but if you're buying this, don't buy it for the meter. I would probably install one up here on the dash. As far as wiring goes, you use all the same wiring that you used before. Um, I didn't go up the gauge on the wires you can, I know some people do, but we're not up in the voltage at all. We're just changing the type of battery. So you're not running that much more current, if any, through it. So your stock wires are fine. But as far as the battery itself goes, I have absolutely no complaints so far. Like I said earlier, I haven't killed it all the way yet. I thought I did couple weeks ago but it ended up it was just my forward reverse switch was going bad but I mean I've driven it probably I'm not sure how many miles but I've driven it for about a couple weeks straight and still good to go so battery life not a concern maybe if you live in a town and you drive it back and forth to the store or whatever you I mean maybe it would be not as good as the lead acid, but just for me, just driving around the yard, up and down the dirt road and all, it's perfectly fine. The casing itself is held up perfectly fine too. No damage, no scratching, nothing like that has occurred. Handles still good, which I mean, they don't get really get that much use. But I mean, overall, very very good battery for five hundred dollars it has now gone back up to seven hundred and 
49, I believe. And I'll leave a link in the description to this battery. It's an affiliate link, so if you use my link, I will get a cut from the sale of the battery. So if you use my link, I appreciate it. I also link this charger. Um, I would recommend this charger over a lot of the cheap, cheap chargers because the charger is going to be what burns your shop down if you cheap out on it. So I just would prefer not to take the chance. But overall, I have, I guess, about $1,200 in this golf cart and I have absolutely zero complaints. It has great distance. It ha It's... The speed is about 15 miles an hour with everything else stock exactly as it was. And I mean, this here is cheaper than most lead acid options. Definitely cheaper than your typical Trojan batteries. And I have absolutely zero complaints. I would do this every time so far. But like I said, I've only had it for about a month and a half. So only time will tell how well this holds up. But for the price, if it only lasts two or three years, I can replace this three times, three plus times really, in comparison to some of the more expensive lithium options. So definitely recommend this battery. If you wanna check it out for yourself, the link will be in the description and I'm thinking I'm going to start building more golf carts here pretty soon. So if you want to see more of a golf cart content and actually working on them instead of just me talking, please make sure to subscribe. Appreciate you checking out the review. Hopefully you have good luck with yours.